Welcome back to GTA Online. It has been a little while, but today we finally got a brand new GTA Online car. Hold up, let me show you. This is an Alpine A110, also known as the Tondra, Tondra Panthe Panthera. Panther. It's a stupid name. The Alpine cost 2.1 million bucks. And I don't have 2.1 million bucks. You might be saying, Nick, why don't, why don't you just buy a shark card? Because I did. I spent 50 bucks on a shark card. Rockstar took my money and then didn't give me my GTA money. I have been mugged, but by Rockstar themselves. So my only solution is to sell this. Well, it was a fun card, but I need the cash. Maybe Rockstar will actually give me my money at some point in the future. Chat says you can't buy it again. Oh no. Anyways, let's go buy that other thing. 2.1 million bucks for the Alpine A110. Let's buy it in Alpine blue, send it off to the agency, and we are officially becoming poor again. Hey, Jack, could you pick me up? Thank you. Wait, you're gonna let me drive this? Oh, you have no idea what you're getting yourself into, sunshine. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. That's just the best way of taking a corner. And... I am Richard Hammond. I have made the problem worse. I'm just gonna go. This is our Alpine A110, which is very French. So there is only one way to remove it from the garage. Reverse. <laughs> oh, oui, oui, mon ami. Let's go off to the auto shop property and let's go do some GTA Online customization. Monsieur Alpine avec le large baguette. Why did I go to Benny's? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to go to Benny's. I got distracted by the large baguette and went the wrong direction. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just on brand. Let's give it a go. Let's do some customization and see how spicy we can make it. We may need to make some budget cuts. I guess brakes are rather important. Let's go for that 31,000 bucks. Front bumpers, 18 different front bumpers. I think you can see what I mean when I say... I was missing GTA. We do have to actually ask ourselves, like, what do we want to actually turn this car into? Because obviously, on one hand, Alpine has a massive rally racing history. On the other hand, this is also more of a road car at the end of the day. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of down for this. This looks kind of spicy with, like, the holes under the grill there. Trim carbon race splitter. I like it. 15,000 bucks for a front bumper. 12 different rear bumpers or rear diffusers actually maybe if we can make it a little bit extra spicy that would be good honestly honestly the stock one is the best one none of those are really worth i'm saving money it's nice when you don't need to upgrade something Thirty thousand bucks for an engine upgrade off then we need an exhaust okay so rev it on up so bone stock we've got kind of these nasty chrome exhausts if we can get something again a little bit nicer those are actually really nice those are also Ugh. Why is square exhaust becoming a thing? I don't know, and I don't like it. I'm going for those. Grill, we've got a bunch of different options. Ooh, those actually look kind of cool. Those kind of make it look like a Mercedes AMG with like the vertical lines going through the grill. Let's go carbon fiber race car grill. It's the Alpine AMG A110. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, our hood. Oh, I wonder if we can actually get some rally lights for this thing. Carbon fiber options actually really nice. We might end up going for that. Ooh, that one's even nicer. These are way nicer than... What the? What the? Fuel filler cap on the hood? That's sick. That's actually so sick. Honestly, though, I really like this one. It's kind of like a 911 GT3 hood. Let's go for that. Very, very nice in carbon fiber. Our livery, we'll come back to that in a second. Louvers, no way. Oh, wow, that's so sick. I really like the normal louvers too, but I feel like this one is just so sick. Going for that, our license plate, Always got to go yellow on black. Thank you. Our respray for paint. We'll come back to that as well. Then we've got the actual roof. Could we make our roof carbon fiber as well? Kind of to match the rest of the car. Ugh, I hate what it does in the back there. 
That looks a lot better. The only good one is just the regular carbon fiber roof. This is looking really nice. Side skirts again, if we could get something with some carbon fiber, kind of like that. That already looks really, really good and kind of makes the whole car kind of tie itself together. Very subtle carbon fiber. It kind of goes with our front bumper. Let's go for that. Very nice. Twitch chat says it's a budget GT4 car. Bro, you're actually right. It kind of is. Nobody in their right mind would have a carbon fiber sunstrip. Regular black, thank you very much. Then our rear wing. Look at the little ducktail that it's got already. That looks so good. But I think we've got to get a big rear wing kind of to match. Dassy mounted rear wing. That's sick. Oh man, it really is turning into a budget. Jesus Christ. It really is turning into into a budget GT4 car. I think the low level GT one with like the cool swan neck on there. I think that's the play. That's so nice looking. Slam it all the way down. Thank you very much. Transmission upgrade that turbo. Toss a turbo on. Then our wheels will come back to and finally our window tint. For some reason, it didn't actually buy the side skirt. Okay, okay, well. I have now. Now that we've completed round number one, let's check out our liveries. So racing stripe straight over the carbon fiber. That's not a good look. Also not a good look. Hey, wee oui, wee, oui, mon ami. Ha ha. Ooh, that's actually pretty spicy, that livery. They are very, very race car-y, these liveries. Very nice. Do I like them enough to actually put them on the car? Like, this would probably be my favorite. But I don't know if I like it enough. I think we just gotta paint this thing normally. Twitch chat says they like it. I shall do it. I love how it's also by far the most expensive color. Those rims look awesome. Oh, I might not be able to get them white enough. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, that's sick. All right, and then do I want some fancy tire designs? Eh, yeah, sure. Why not? Hey, hey, mon ami. Jack has uh, gone with the French flag one. Very street racy vibes. Man is currently making a TikTok. Bro, that actually looks so sick. Same for Fire's one. Fire's got this really nice purple color. Love to see it. And then Kimmy has made an even larger French flag. Here is the time trial for this week. Ooh. Okay, it's all the way down here. I really hope this is actually nice to drive quickly. I mean, it's rear wheel drive. We should actually be able to... Get some nice slide out of the thing. Maybe... Oh, uh... I've had a problem. Uh, lads, I've had a skill issue. How did I lose my fender? Where do we even need to... Thank you. Where do we even need to go for the time trial? We are racing all the way over here. Okay, so are we actually going to jump on the big bridge? I guess we are. I guess we're just going to stick to the road. In three, two, one... Away we go. Fairly large burnout. Anyways, away we go. Let's absolutely... Send it. Traffic is not being cooperative. It's been a little while since I've actually gone try hard in GTA. Do it for all the putty baguettes out there who one day believe that they could be a large baguette. Speaking of baguette, I'm having a baguette for lunch today. Why did that sound strangely sus? I meant I'm having a chicken sandwich for lunch. We're actually maintaining quite a bit of speed. Unfortunately, there's nowhere actually to like curb boost this thing. We've obviously got weight reduction from our missing fender. That is going to be the difference maker. Go, 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 go. I've got 20 seconds. I think we're good. No way is this first try. No way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! Literally at the last second. Can you actually curb boost using those? I'm gonna go with a no. Here we go, 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 here we go. Break, 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 break. Send it! Get there! Get there! Got there! Yes! I got him. I got him. Okay, Jack, start a lobby. Start a lobby, Jack. Start a lobby. Start a lobby. Ah! He's coming! Jack, start a lobby! Yes! Yes! Ha-ha! <laughs> I got away! <laughs> Our first race in the Alpine A110. Let us have a good one. So, uh, spoiler alert. 
Spoiler alert, this thing isn't actually that fast in the sports class, as you might be able to tell. Okay, follow Jack, follow Jack, follow Jack. So this is the rally cross. Oh my God, this is sick. Jack, this is so sick. So we're doing what the Alpines were originally made for. Oh, we've got up to fourth, fifth, second, third place. Oh my God, bro, we're zooming. Third place, second place. No way. No way. The rally boys. At some point, we're gonna regroup with those guys who went the other direction. That was a bit close. Bro, this is such a cool little race. Actually having two entirely different paths in the same race is so sick. We are living the Alpine dream. Oh my God, I thought I nearly sent it too hard there. Yo, it's actually a really nice little rally car, honestly. Like the way it's able to handle the slides, even though it's rear wheel drive is really nice. Oh my God, yeah. Look at everybody in front of us. Wait, where do we go? Oh my God. <laughs> this is so cool. Where are all of the guys in front of us? Yo, look at this. <gasps> that was a tap. That was a lovely little drift tap. Oh, yo, yo, look at this. Hi, hi, hi. So that's lap one. Oh my God, I dropped down to ninth place. Okay, I'm not going off road on lap number two. I'm going straight this time. Bye, lads. I did the off-road last time. Now I'm going to test the on-roading ability. This is so cool. Kimmy was actually saying that this thing is 65th in the sports class for, like, actually racing. And then, like, 25th place or something like that for, for top speed. So it's definitely not OP. I don't think I'm going to get anybody. Oh, there's actually one guy just over here. I'm in front of him. P8, baby! P8 for the Alpine! Considering how broken sports class actually is, and like the Pariah, the 300R, we actually did really well in our not at all OP Alpine. Race number two, if I could get another top eight, that would be nice, but I mean, on a circuit with as many corners as this track has, who knows? All it's gonna take is one little skill issue. What? One terribly placed prop, and suddenly you are already dropped back to 10th place. Why would somebody put a wall in the middle of the road? Anyways, we're immediately up to 8th place. I'm gonna need to send my little Alpine. There we go. Thank you very much. That's P6. I'm getting overtaken, but I'm holding P6. It actually feels sort of, kind of, like a real car. There we go. There we go. This is gonna be a position. That's P5. That is P5. Thank you very much. Okay, now we're now we're going for P4. Come on. Took an inside line. Not great. Not great. Poor exit. Terrible exit. Okay, get fire in that Supra. Come on. There we go. Nice, nice corner. Come on. That was too fast. <laughs> we got fire. I'm in fourth, boy. Wait, Jack? Damn it. Final lap already. Oh my God. I literally nearly did the same thing as I did on lap one. Ah, come on. I need a little more. Oh, fire went the wrong way. No. 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 Wait, did everyone crash or did they already speed past me? Oh, they did. No, they did. No. <laughs> no. Again, our cars actually did pretty well. If we ignore the skill issues that we had, I know it might be an expensive car for what it is, like two million bucks for an Alpine sports car that isn't actually that fast is a lot of money, but it's really fun to drive and it's got great customization. I'm a huge believer of not every car needs to be the fastest car. And this is a very good example of why you don't need that. <laughs>